Hey guys, Adam here from World Class Watches, and uh, for our third video today, I'm going to be showing you a, a good little value watch. Um, this is a used watch, hence you can see the packaging. Uh, but this watch has actually been around from the early 2000s. So this watch is actually, I would say, somewhere around 15, maybe even more years old. Now, this is the Omega Seamaster. Now, this is their upgraded watch. Uh, so they make a base level Seamaster. This is one of the more professional dive watches that you're going to find. And this one has a 300 meter depth. Let me go ahead and uh, wind it up a bit so we can see it. Okay. It is a very quality watch. It has a 7750 movement in it, so it's not an in-house movement. Uh, but having said that, it is a good watch. So value-wise, it is a pretty good, I'd say, you know, used market. I, pay, I paid uh, around $1,000 for this watch. Now, understand that you're gonna find this watch for sale in the used market quite a bit more. Uh, you could probably pay upwards of 2,000, 2,500. I've seen these things on Toro and a few other sites for 3,000 bucks. Now this is unpolished, so let me try to show you the bezel so you can kind of see what a watch that's this old is gonna look like. Uh, you've got a nick there, uh, a couple of small scratches here, as you can see. Um, the sapphire crystal is, like most sapphire crystals, phenomenal. Not a single blemish or anything that I could see in it. Um, you know, if you were to polish this watch up, I would say that it would look brand new or close to it. You'd have a little problem with the bezel here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a steel bezel. This is not a cerachrome or anything like that. And it does have nice engraved markers. Uh, it's got a good click to it. Okay, it does, it does uh, light up real well as far as your loom, okay? So, you know, overall, it's got some neat features uh, that punch higher than its weight class. Uh, one of those is the helium release valve. So this is something you're gonna find on a Rolex Deep Sea. Um, and it also has a date, which I'm a huge fan of that. And, uh, and then beyond that, you can track your seconds, your minutes, you can track 30 minutes, you can track 12 hours, and then you also have your seconds. Um, very easy to set and reset this watch. Click here, pop there, now you've reset it. Really good quality chronograph. Um, it is a 42 millimeter diameter watch. And one thing I did wanna point out is this, I believe is actually the I mean, I'm not sure exactly because I don't have the exact reference on this watch. I bought it used, just box and books, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, you guys in the comments can call me out or, or tell me what's up with this. But this looks like the original bezel for this watch. This either is an aftermarket piece or this also came with it. Um, but this is definitely the bezel that I would rock on this watch. It looks way better. Now, the blue look is cool, I do have to say. So, you know, it is what it is. Let me kind of show you the band on this thing. Uh, there, you know, even after all these years, absolutely no flex. You know, this is this is definitely not like a, a president or anything like that. And you know, it's looking pretty good. I mean, there's a nick right here, and beyond that, just a couple of small scratches. I mean, this thing is looking really, really sharp. Even here, uh, just a couple of nicks. Uh, you know, for such an old watch, it's really held up really well. Uh, this is probably the worst part of the watch right here, so it does get kind of beaten up down the center. But considering that somebody most likely wore this watch almost daily uh, for years and years, and another feature that I do like about it, you see this right here? That's kind of a nice, uh, you know, way of, of cutting the bezel. I do like that. Um, that's kind of a signature Omega look. In fact, a buddy of mine actually has a, a wedding ring that fall, has that same pattern too, and you'd never know it. Uh, it does have a really kind of a, an interesting dial to it. Uh, great loom. Uh, loom works really well on this watch. I'll show you one more time the back. So this is kind of what the older Seamaster backs used to look like. Uh, they've kind of upgraded the look a little bit. There you go. It's got really, really good weight to this watch. It 
It really does. Uh, it feels quality. You pick this thing up and you feel like you, you're wearing a nice high class piece of, uh, you know, nice high class timepiece. It really has got the weight, especially for only being 42 millimeters. Um, wears really well. You know, Omega has a phenomenal band. Uh, so I've got, you know, I've got pretty decent sized wrists. It honestly fits perfectly. Uh, I haven't had any hair pulls on this. That's a really comfortable watch. Uh, the The only really thing is, you know, do you do you like the retro look of it? You know, that's the only thing. I personally like this watch. I like how subdued it is. Uh, I like that it's comfortable and works really well. It's just a workhorse. It's a really good tool watch. Um, but if you love the new Omegas or a lot of the other dive mount, you know, watches on the market, I totally would understand. Uh, this right here is going to be the operations book that comes with it. Uh, it'll tell you how to operate it. it. Comes in multiple languages, starting with tells you about the helium escape valve here. It starts with English. That's what I was going to say earlier. And pretty pretty straightforward of how it works, how to use the helium escape valve. I will not ever use the helium escape valve on this watch. So there's that. And then like most of them, it also comes with the signature centers all across the world. Let me see if I can get a date on this thing here. Um, there's gotta be a date when this was printed. So there wasn't one on here that I could find. If I could find the date of this watch, it would be a lot easier for me to track down the exact replica or replica, the exact reference, but I don't think I, I don't think it's on here anywhere. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put the reference in the description. I'm pretty sure I found it. Uh, it wasn't easy to find, um, but it's I did I did find it. But yeah, there's nothing. I'm gonna put this watch somewhere between the year 2000 and 2005, somewhere in that in that range. Uh, but you know, it, it, you guys can tell me exactly. Uh, I, this is my third or fourth Omega I've owned, and uh, yeah, see this one right here says down here, printed in Switzerland, 1989, that can't be right, um, I think that's just something that they use, so yeah, no date, dang, Bot, box wise, you know, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing fancy necessarily, it's nice, uh, you know, the sign of excellence is what you see there. So yeah, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with this watch. Uh, I, I've worn it a lot, and I like it. Um, it doesn't get a lot of compliments. Uh, it's, it's not a blingy watch, but it's just a great, great everyday, you know, don't, don't have to worry about it. You know you feel it, feel it on your wrist. It's nice and heavy. It's just a good, a good watch, um, and I'd highly recommend it. Now, if you're going to be uh, buying this watch used, I would say the market on it right now is going to be in the low twos to high teens. I actually just sold this watch for $1,700. It's a little bit lower than I wanted, but I did not have the papers on it. Now, I could have gone and gotten it authenticated at an Omega dealership and all that, and uh, or dealership, you know, Omega Boutique, and I didn't decide not to do that. Uh, mostly because there's a cost to it and you know in the end of the day it really doesn't have that much value to the watch um, so $1,700 is what I got I probably had around a thousand uh, in it um, I ended up buying this one and another Seamaster which uh, I did not do a video on before I sold it for 2,000 bucks so if you take the cost and you divide it in half you get a thousand bucks each so I'll make a little bit of money on this watch but really even the next owner who's buying it for 1700 bucks he's getting a good deal he can, he, you know, he can pretty much rock this watch out, get it polished up, and probably sell it for what he paid, if not a little bit more. Because this is almost becoming a retro piece. You know, the new Seamasters are nice. You know, they are. Uh, are they night and day better than this? I would say no. Uh, I think this is a solid watch. If you guys have any questions on it, let me know. But uh, here you go. This is a watch circa 2000s that is, uh, is looking sharp. You know, it's a, it's a good piece. Guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you later.